Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video on a little trick that I want to kind of share with you on how to graph x equals 3. We all know that y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. And it's easy to identify the slope and the y-intercept of a line of, say, y equals 2x plus 1. Um, but what about if you have x equals 3? What do you do? Can't put it into the graphing calculator. Um, but this type of line is very easy if you know this one little trick that I'm going to share with you. So, x equals 3. You know that every coordinate is an x first and y second. So what I want you to do is just pick out coordinates when x has to equal 3. So I'm going to put 3 as my x and negative 4 as my y. I'm going to put 3 as my x. Remember 3 has to be the x coordinate and then negative 2 as my y. Then 3, 0. I could even pick 3 4 and 3 6 you really don't need this many points to graph it but we're going to graph it now 3 just realize 3 has to be your x coordinate so 3 negative 4 was my first so I'm going to go down to negative 4 put a point 3 negative 2 3 0 3 positive 4 and 3 positive 6. You could see what your line is right now and what it's going to look like. You have that line right there. Remember any time that you graph a line you have arrows. Put your arrows and you could even just put your x equals this is x equals 3. That line is a vertical line. This is a vertical line and the slope which is the M is undefined. Vertical lines have an undefined slope and that's it. How easy is that? Little trick X equals whatever number you just have to put that number as your x coordinate just put random y coordinates one more time but now it's y equals 5 what do you do well set up the same thing you have x comma y and this time instead of the x being the same number the y has to be the same number remember your y must be 5. y equals 5. So I'm going to pick uh, negative 2, 5, 0, comma 5, 3, 5, and I'll pick a last one, 4, 5. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and graph negative 2, 5. So up here. 0, 5 is here. 3, 5 is here. 4, 5 is here. You can see your line. You can pick 10, 5, 10, 5 is here. I could pick negative 10, 5. As long as my y is 5. My y coordinate must be 5. Then I am going to connect all my points with a straight line and put arrows on each side to make everybody happy and put y equals 5. That is y equals 5. That is it. Just make sure if they could give you anything x equals or y equals. Just go ahead create your own coordinates where 
that whatever they give you, the line to graph, has to be that number, either the X or the Y, and then you pick random other coordinates. And that's it. You're finished. People will wonder, how did you do that so fast? That's the little trick. Thank you for watching.